screen visible? Yes, Ram. Okay, great. So I think I hope uh, you all completed that experiment. No, like uh, uh, stopping as by uh, SAP system step by step and uh, starting uh, SAP system step by step. So you have clear cut idea on uh, what needs to be started first. Means what is most important uh, thing that you have to start before starting SAP system. So if you have this kind of clarity, uh, tomorrow whenever you face uh, uh, such situations like your SAP system is not starting, if you get this kind of compliance from your users, it would become very, very easy for you to troubleshoot and solve the problems. So most of the time, many SAP basis administrators who work in background like um, instead of means the in SAP basis administration also, I told you so many job roles uh, will be there like uh, some people will be deployed to support front end users, some people will be deployed to support back end users and uh, some people will be involved in implementation like installations and all. Some people will be involved into the uh, updating patches. And like that, there are there are plenty of job roles uh, are there in SAP basis administration itself. What you are learning now is you are learning everything on whole, everything about SAP basis administration you are learning. But in real real time scenarios, you won't be given to handle all these things at a time. So in one project, you may be deployed with uh, certain activities like transport administration only. Only transports you will perform like. Uh, creating transport requests, trans, uh, transporting, exporting those transport requests, mm -hmm. such such kind of work only. Means repeatedly you have to do that same work again and again. Of course, definitely you will you will get full uh, experience on that particular aspect. Like some people will be given to administer only user accounts, like users and uh, roles. Mm -hmm. That is called security administration. You may be heard about uh, um, security as in SAP basis administration also there will be concept of security security means what protecting SAP systems okay like uh, we should not allow unauthorized person to perform certain activities that is called security okay so even though they can log into SAP system they cannot perform any activities they will be allowed to perform certain certain activities only Okay, uh, anyway, we have learned uh, as of now so many uh, things like uh, uh, installation part we have completed and uh, you have full idea on uh, what is dialogue work process, what is background work process and what is pool work process and what is update work process and what is the significance of uh, NQ service and what is the significance of message service and you understand the concept of instances number of instances like number of application servers so most of the things you have already learned only thing is that you need to have experience on this to get experience on this you need to practice this repeatedly okay whenever you have the time like after completion of the class also because the systems are already with you and in your hand um, you have to utilize that opportunity whatever the experiments that you are doing in live classes same experiment you have to do it uh, second time or third time if the permit uh, if time permits you have to perform that same activity four or five times okay so then you you can feel that you are experienced when we will call somebody as experienced if somebody can perform certain activity without referring any notes or without referring any uh, website if he is able to do perform certain activities in the sap system definitely he is called as uh, experienced experienced person okay now let us uh, go forward actually today's class is uh, uh, related to java administration but uh, we have not yet installed java system so that's why we'll go through the overview of uh, java and java administration and all most probably tomorrow we'll start the java installation and uh, before uh, going into Java administration, there are certain ad, uh, topics related to AS ABAP administration. So, like, uh, you're able to see this Excel sheet also, no? Our syllabus. Yes, Ram. Yes, Ram. Okay. 
so actually the client management whatever we have created the client no that is given here after java administration client client management is there and the transport system means to perform client administration and transport system administration also we need to have as above systems so we have already have the as uh, above systems we can perform these activities and patch management spool administration also and admin utilities also and some advanced topics okay advanced topics means uh, hana we have to means we will learn how to install hana database uh, on this topic like uh, advanced topics and after that standard troubleshooting again we will come back to these systems again and again means we will not uh, delete existing as above system it will be there as it is we will add as java system to existing uh, environment whatever is there we will install as java system so that we will have both the both types of systems in our hand for performing all other activities system monitoring also again we will use the same systems like um, as app and as java and memory management also will use the same systems okay database management also we will use the same systems like that okay so rest of the topics whatever is mentioned here everything is based on the systems that are available already with us okay so only thing is that you need you don't know certain uh, navigations within the sap system and you don't know certain uh, uh, file paths where that particular exact file is located these things you do not know because i have not explained as of now okay whatever we have seen as of now whatever the transaction code that we have learned will repeatedly use those transaction codes again and again and by that by the time we complete uh, the entire course almost all the transaction codes all the paths and all the uh, navigations everything you will be acquainted with and uh, you will definitely feel confident after completion of this course okay today what we are going to do is uh, certain uh, powerpoint slides are there i will go through that and then uh we'll move on to some kind of uh, user administration and uh, then i will show you how to create role in the sap system and uh, if time permits uh, what we will do is we will uh, i will explain about that uh, java administration part like uh, i will give you overview of what is uh, as already we have seen the java administration java uh, overview so initial classes like first two two classes we have already seen the java architecture and all so we'll go little deeper into that okay so before that by seeing this image uh, can anyone tell that uh, what is the meaning of it we have learned already this just tell me uh, what kind of information that you are able to observe by seeing this image anyone can try what are all the things that are mentioned in this image first of all just look at the image for one of 30 seconds and come up with answers come on guys in organization when you are deployed at client place uh you are talking about uh, ticketing tool no like uh, snow tool or uh, service now tool there, there are different ticketing tools will be there um repeatedly customers means the users who are facing issues they will contact help desk so there is a concept called assigning the ticket yourself means you have to assign the ticket yourself that is the one of the task uh, you need to perform means you have to come forward you have to uh, take the challenge of uh, troubleshooting that particular issue before somebody else isn't it did you did you uh, did anyone informed about this in your organization as of now in this four months any trainer hello are you understanding what i am uh, asking at least tell me that yes or no assigning ticket yourself did anyone inform this no ram 
means if work comes you have you have to come forward and tell that i will i am going to do this work you need to do this no no one informed this so out of you two 20 people when i am asking one question re related to this image okay at least you have to try no like uh, one of you should come forward and uh, yes sir i am going to answer this question you have to come forward that's why i am uh, i am telling you this means out of 20 people who wants to tell something about this image so whoever in the background who is this tell me your name chaitra chaitra very good so this is the so this is the initiative okay you have to take the initiative to solve the solve some problems in the organizations for suppose morning morning if you have 100 tickets in your ticketing tool so you have to assign certain tickets yourself yes i am going to solve these problems you have to assign yourself somebody means you should not wait somebody to assign the ticket to you so this is the concept means in in real time organizations wherever you deployed uh, at client places and uh, if you are deployed to support a client okay so you have to assign the ticket yourself so that's why i am telling you if i am asking question here out of 20 people i don't need to call your name you need to come forward and answer that okay so if you if you cannot answer also that is okay i am here no i will help you once you come forward not only you not only me if other people also like other 19 people also may come forward and uh, answer um, help you like uh, to complete this answer understand that's why i'm i'm asking again and again this and i am informing this again and again this because whenever i am asking something you you need to come forward then only it will be interesting and this this kind of uh, interacting interactive training would help other people also okay chaitra tell me what you have what you have observed from this image uh, scheduling the background process for uh, day and night okay. and in the day it runs more and uh, in the uh, i mean in the night it runs uh, uh, background process is scheduled more and uh, in the day it is less okay as the uh, dialogue process will be running okay okay good uh, come come on come on what is most significant the uh, thing that uh, that is mentioned is this image in this image inconsistency yeah, exactly inconsistencies it is a central word no inconsistencies what is the meaning of inconsistency which is not not running uh, consistently it means in the same uh, phase yeah if, if something is not uh, running properly it is it is called inconsistency okay inconsistency in in what in he, in this image inconsistency in what uh, the process running operational modes okay operation mode yesterday uh, day before yesterday we learned how to configure operation modes that is in the day and night isn't it yes so yes. so this arrow mark is denoting night and day means we have configured already means night and day operation mode already configured we allocated certain number of work processes to day and certain number of work processes to night here we have already configured but this side what is there this side this arrow mark is denoting what operating system operating system means whatever the configuration that we have done here okay so in operating system also same kind of configuration should be there are you getting my point so this this side this side and also what is this what is this database database so, yeah so the default and instance profiles at database means whatever is there in the uh, whatever the parameters that are configured and whatever the values that we have already configured finally will be stored at database no so in the database also the same values will be stored okay 
So whatever the configuration and whatever the files that are there in the operating system level and whatever the parameters that are configured at database level and whatever we have configured day and night in the SAP screens all should be same. If some something is different means from operating system to database, database to here, something is different, what will happen? We, will, we have to see the inconsistencies. Understand? So that is the most important thing that we, you need to understand this. At any given point of time, the configuration should match between all the areas. Got it, Chaitra? Yes, Ram. 